All right, in disarray and chaos and, well, sort of dissolving from the top up, that is the way many in, uh well, many of the Washington sort of punditry and beyond that have been describing what's happening to President Trump right now. Never mind his administration's not even a month old here. They're already saying the guy's crazy. He's out of it. He's a head case. Can't control agenda. I, I, I don't remember the same being said when Jimmy Carter was running into trouble or Ronald Reagan was running into trouble or, or Bill Clinton. Um, everyone starts out, as uh, Martin Sorrell was telling me, a WPP fame on Fox Business with sort of regime rockiness when things first get going. To Dr. Keith Ablo, Fox News Medical A team, on what he makes of that. I think what they're saying, doctor, is uh, the guy's crazy, Donald Trump, and it's coming <laughs> back in spades to bite him. What do you, what do you make of that? Crazy like a fox, maybe. No, listen, Neil, in fact, I wrote a blog for the opinion section today at foxnews.com saying exactly the opposite. Haven't examined the man. Personally, I haven't. But listen, you can't run a multinational corporation, enjoy the respect and love of your children and your wife, and recruit to your administration, which, by the way, you happen to be occupying because you defeated 16 Republican primary opponents and the heir apparent to a Democratic administration, and then be called unbalanced. Uh, he's, he's quite balanced. Uh, he's achieving things no one else has achieved. Now, that doesn't mean he's usual. He can be extraordinary, and he can have a very different approach. But to call him crazy would be, well, crazy. Yeah. You know what happens? A lot of times they, they, they focus on the things that sidetrack him. Even though by discussing that, they're getting sidetracked, discussing him being sidetracked. But, but leaving that aside, that he, uh, starting out the administration, talking about crowd sizes at his inauguration, or the ratings of uh, The Apprentice under Arnold Schwarzenegger, I mean, are these the kind of things that uh, the leader of the free world should be, should be zeroing in on? Or do they all do it to various degrees? He's just more uh, public about it and, and just do, you know, wears his emotions on his sleeve. You know, number one, I think he may wear his emotions more on his sleeve. Number two, I'm not sure that he doesn't do some of these things precisely in order to disassemble and sort of to distract. After all, the media falls all over themselves for a one-liner from Donald Trump, cover it incessantly, while he goes about his business, business instituting policies that are transformational for America and that are going to bring America back. So some of it might be cat and mouse, and there are a lot of mice out there who are willing to fall for anything Donald Trump puts out there that looks like a red herring. They'll take any hook. All right. Now, one of the things I notice, and it, I see this on the left and the right, but I think the media is much more thin-skinned than any president. Um, and and I, 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 by that, I would just say that, you know, Will wince at Fox when it was the, President Obama ignoring us and treating us like, you know what, the, many at, uh, let's say, CNN get annoyed when they get ignored, and then, then all of a sudden they don't like the, the same treatment. So I, I can understand the frustration with that. But I, 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 I wonder if President Trump plays into that too much, and he, he gets what's coming to him when he does this sort of thing, that he encourages the sort of tit-for-tat in spades that he gets. Well, look, you know, I think it's his game. You know, Muhammad Ali used to do the rope-a-dope, right, right? right, and right. he uh, defeated boxers that way. I think there's a little of that going on. And frankly, you know, when I trained uh, in medicine, I, part of my rotations were through surgery. Some of the best surgeons, they had some quirks, right? An errant word, uh, something yelled out in the OR. You know who you'd want doing your surgery? Those very guys. They weren't the polished ones. They were the geniuses, man. And we've got a genius in the Oval Office, and if we think he's going to subscribe entirely to protocol and be flawless and polished, think again. But, but they man, worry. Here's I what want I that hear surgeon. from a doctor from some market guys. And again, they could be wrong, because talk about some you know, self-absorbed people. Uh, they, they are convinced that if he's not careful, the president, these distractions are going to get in the way, and they're not going to get anything that they want, nor what he says they're going to give him. Well, you know, uh, what I would say is recent history being something of a guide, I would be loath to judge the man uh, to have deficits that don't pay off, right? So, you know, through all of this, people have said, no, it's, it's impossible. He can't possibly win the presidency. Look what he said. Well, you're right. Well, look, he's, he's president. And my guess is that at a certain point, we'll come to embrace his idiosyncrasies 
because they will work for all of us and we'll all have some successes uh, to boast about. Yeah, well, he's where he is, and they are covering him where they are. So, well, good points all. Dr. Keith Allo, good seeing you. Thanks, Neil. Take care.